We're all thinking today about the tragic loss of life out in Oklahoma yesterday. So this morning, I'd like to take just a moment to express my condolence to all who've lost family and friends in this horrible disaster. It's been a truly heartbreaking loss of life, dozens injured and killed yesterday, including many children. The tornado that throw, tore through more uh, flattened entire neighborhoods and destroyed at least two elementary schools, Briarwood and Plaza Towers. Just as students were about to be released for their last week of school before the summer recess. I don't think any of us can comprehend the searing grief of their parents. I'm told that two crews from the Louisville Red Cross recently left for Oklahoma to help those who are now suffering. Kentuckians understand the terrible toll these types of storms can take. Just last March, I toured the wreckage of a deadly tornado in West Liberty, Kentucky, where churches, homes, businesses, and schools were reduced to rubble and where several Kentuckians lost their lives. I remember full well a tornado that went through my hometown of Louisville back in the 70s, knocked down every house on the street of my parents. <clears throat> My mother was in the basement, and mercifully, it skipped over our house for some reason, but leveled all the houses across the street and the ones next door. So it's really hard to accurately describe the devastation a storm like this leaves in its wake. And as first responders continue to dig through the rubble and more, I fear we'll hear a lot more bad news in the days ahead. That said, I'm sure we'll also hear stories of hope and self-sacrifice, as we almost always do when tragedies like this strike, of strangers shielding strangers, of neighbors helping others rebuild, of volunteers working through the night to sift through the debris to find survivors. As we've seen time and time again in recent years, Americans are at their best when called upon to help each other in tragic circumstances. And this circumstance could hardly, hardly be more tragic. So we in the Senate offer our heartfelt prayers to those affected by this terrible storm. We offer our gratitude to the first responders. And we offer our encouragement to Governor Fallon and the many federal, state, and local officials who are working hard to assist in the recovery and who will aid in the rebuilding of homes and schools and families and lives.